dear students welcome to my channel topic is modeling information retrieval in this video neural network model is explained with example now let us start neural network model comes under the algebraic which is nothing but extension of classical vector model introduction to neural network model application of neural network as an alternative model for information retrieval it outlines the structure of neural network designed for this purpose consisting of three layers one for query terms one for document terms and one for documents in this neural network the process begins with query term nodes which initiate the signal propagation to document term node and document term node generate the signal for the document node this completes the initial phase where signal travel from query term to document term and then document term to document nodes the neural network does not halt after this initial phase document nodes can generate signal directed back to the document term nodes through bidirectional edge and from document term nodes again to documents node repeating the process with signal weakening at each iteration that is after first iteration there is a continuous transition between document term nodes and document nodes this process may activate documents even if they lack the query terms so this is the important point of neural network and which will result into the activation of built in the sorus so even if that particular keyword is not present in the document but it uh, it is not present in the query terms but it will try to find out the different types of document this is a diagrammatic representation this is a query terms document terms and documents in initially the process starts from here but after first iteration there is a continuous transition between document terms and documents so in that case new documents get found and the the sorus structure gets built the initial activation level for query term node is set to 1 which is the maximum value these nodes send signal to document term nodes which are adjusted by normalized query terms weight once signal reach document term nodes they can transmit it to document nodes and their strength is attenuated by normalized document term weights three layer network signal propagates across the network first level of propagation query terms issues the first signal this signal propagate across the network to reach a document nodes second level of propagation document nodes might themselves generate a new signals which affects the document term nodes document term nodes might respond with new signals of their own so this is nothing but in first level it will goes from query to documents but in the second stage or, or subsequent stages there is a continuous interaction between document terms and documents to understand the neural network it is very much important to understand first basic vector model because equation that we used in vector model similar equations are used in the neural network model normalize the signal strength equal to 1 query terms emit initial signal equal to 1 weight associated with an edge from query term node to document term node is given by this equation so w iq is equal to 0.5 plus frequency of iq divided by maximum of frequency iq into inverse document frequency that is log of n divided by ni then normalize query vector terms are used weight associated with an edge from document term node to document is given by this formula that is w of ij is equal to f of ij and again it is multiplied by the uh inverse document frequency and this is nothing but the normalized document node weight at the first level of signal propagation the activation level of the document node is given by which is exactly ranking of the vector model so results are very much similar to the vector model and at document node we are multiplying wiq and wij new signal might be exchanged among the document terms and document document term nodes and documents in the process analogous to a feedback cycle a minimum threshold should be enforced to avoid the counterfeit signal generation now let us see the example four documents are there computer information retrieval computer retrieval information computer information and queries information retrieval now we'll find out the 
term document matrix now computer information retrieval in the document one this all three words are present in the second document two keywords are present in the third document one second again two keywords are present and our query is information retrieval so initially weights are assigned one one and here we are required to multiply uh, by the inverse document frequency so we are taking the counts which are present uh, with the keywords which are present in the document so this is nothing but the across document count so computer word is present in three documents out of four information word is present in three documents out of four retrieval keyword is present in two documents out of four now first we will calculate with respect to query terms so formula is wiq is equal to 0.5 frequency of iq divided by maximum frequency iq now here keyword is not gets repeated so maximum value is also one so query is information retrieval so it computer word is not present so 0 1 1 maximum is one so here we are dividing this one by one and one by one then 0 0.5 plus this value into n log of n divided by ni now total documents are four here so capital n is four and ni means in how many documents this particular keyword is present so this count is nothing but ni so by this formula we are calculating first wiq which is 0 0.18 0 0.55 0 0.72 and again we normalized by taking the squares then summation and after that square root and divided by uh, wiq divided by this normalized value and after that we are getting the value 0 0.20 0 0.60 and 0 0.78 next we will calculate the weight between the docu uh, document key terms so here we are taking the documents and the formula is f of ij into log of n divided by ni so here also normalized values are taken but uh, as maximum frequency one so normalized answer is also same then here we are multiplying that value by the inverse document frequency so we multiplied whatever inverse document frequency calculated to these terms and after that we are taking the normalized value so first we will calculate this value that is w of ij and after that we will calculate the normalized value by dividing that norm of the uh, that particular vector next to calculate the weight at the document we are multiplying the weight with respect to wiq and wij so the, that is nothing but the two vector multiplication it's like similarity so we multiply this document one with the query and uh, simply this is a multiplication between the two vectors that is document one and query and both are normalized this is a simple formula i have already published the video on vector model so in that video i have explained in detail that how we perform the vector multiplication so after multiplication we are getting the value which is equal to 0.94 so we simply we require to do at the numerator corresponding element multiplication and in the denominator we require to take the norm of the vector so by this we are getting the weight 0.94 for the document 1 for the document 2 we are getting the weight 0.74 similar calculation is there only we require to take this particular value that is document 1 document 2 and document 3 and document 4 so process is repeated so we are for the document 1 we are getting the weight 0.94 for document 2 0.74 for document 3.74 and for document 4 0.56 so this completes the first level that is initial propagation after that this there is a uh, back arrow from the document to document term nodes and there is a continuous interaction and in each interaction weight gets reduced until it reaches to a particular threshold and by that way most of the documents even if that particular keyword is not present most of the documents get connected and the, the SORUS is built weight given by the document between the query is exactly the ranking provided by the classical vector model to improve the retrieval performance the network continues with the spread, spreading activation process after the first round of propagation this modifies the initial vector ranking in a process analogous to the user relevance feedback cycle this to make the process more effective a minimum activation threshold might be defined such that document nodes below the threshold send no signals out so that irrelevant documents does not comes into the the service so for four documents 
and where is information retrieval so after the first completion phase we are getting the weight 0 0.94 0 0.74 0 0.74 and 0.74 and 0.56 after that there is a communication between or back propagation between the document nodes and the document term nodes so it is not possible to solve the problem manually so only one stage or initial phase is shown with the example conclusion model provides an interesting formulation of the ir problem model has not been tested extensively it is not clear improvements the model might provide so for this video two references are used model information retrieval and introduction to information retrieval thank you